The school I went to was only two blocks from my house. Uh, my teachers were teachers who had taught for generations. My teachers knew my family. My teachers knew my father. So, you know, when I went to school, um, I was entrusted to people who knew me and, and had some expectations of me. Um, so anyway, I, I, I remember going to Phyllis Wheatley. Uh, all the teachers there were really great teachers. I mean, some of my finest memories will always be of Phyllis Wheatley. And it was a, you know, the physical environment of Phyllis Wheatley was, um, it was old school. Uh, we had hand-me-down books. Uh, but it was someplace I looked forward to going every day. You know, I don't think I ever missed school. Uh, and the teachers were, you know, it, it was only after my adulthood that I realized how fortunate we are, were to be exposed to the teachers that we had at Phyllis Wheatley. And later at Lucy Ann Duvall. Mm -hmm. Because it, it took me a while to understand that these teachers were really overly qualified as a result of Jim Crow segregation. Um, most of these teachers had advanced degrees. Uh, I had a fifth grade teacher that had all but dissertation from Columbia University. But because of segregation, she could only aspire to teach. In a black school? In a black school, okay. Um, so it was, I mean, that was the reality of segregation, but that, for me and for my generation was the, I mean, that was the silver lining. We had teachers who were not only highly qualified, but as I said, overly qualified, but were devoted to teaching us, you know, and, and were very much part of the community, uh, just devoted to their profession.